Alright guys, um, I just purchased the Lowei 15mm uh, um, well, shift uh, at the F4.5 Dreamer Lowei. So I already have the 14 24 lenses, um, yeah, shooting hotels and stuff, but then this one is a uh, little special because uh, this is a, uh, a shift. It's not a tilt shift, but it's a shift. And um, compared to the Nikon 19 millimeter, it's it's a lot uh, cheaper, but it's wider. So the Nikon, what, it's um, about 3,000 something. Uh, and uh, it's 19 millimeter, so um, it's less wide. And this is 15 millimeter, and it's only like about a thousand dollars. So let's go ahead and open this thing here. All right, so this is a Nikon mount. This mm, all right. So this is a plastic pouch here. And, uh, um, so these these Lawa lenses are pretty small relatively com compared to uh, the regular Nikon lenses or Sigma, but it's this one is pretty heavy actually. That is what it looks like. So let me. Okay, what 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 else inside? There's some instruction manuals and stuff. Let me put this aside. Um, so we're gonna mount this on the uh, Nikon. Okay, and that's it. So. Hey guys, what's going on here? Uh, so this is uh, just a quick, really quick uh, review of this 50mm uh, shift lens from uh, Lawa. And uh, I honestly, I bought this, uh, purchased this uh, several weeks ago and I haven't really had time to use that. Even for my gigs, I didn't really have the real opportunity to using it. But then I uh, decided to take some shots with this uh, on a gig. But not for the uh, client but just to show you how wide this is like with the shift um, sometimes um, I use this just in like when I can't back up uh, when the uh, location or like the building is very close to me I can't back up so the only way is just, just to shift up the uh, uh, tilt up the um, the camera and stuff and using like ways to just compensate it or you know and in that case, like maybe I would use it, but I try to shoot everything with my 14 millimeter because it's autofocus and then it just, um, yeah, it's easier, like a faster tool because um, time is an issue, you know, you can't like fuss around with this, you know, shoot like it just takes a long time with like shifting and then, yeah, and, and then you probably when the sun sets and you have only limited time to shoot that location. So it's, in terms of time, it's 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 it's, it's not very good. Uh, so it's very time consuming to shoot with this. You know, you have to shift it like you know left, right, up. You know, like you know, ideally you would just like uh, shift all like the the uh, all degrees like you know around like you, you can shoot like every fifteen uh, degrees uh, like you know and to but um, you can sh every 30 degrees maybe you know to capture the entire ring you know like the the space but I'll, I'll show you later I have one sample like how this is compared to the 14 millimeter um, so you can see like how much additional space you can gain through that but primarily one of the reasons I don't use it very often if I really don't need to it's just like yeah it's just a lot of work and then the way you shift the uh, the lens, and then sometimes it because everything is manual, and then the um, the aperture ring here, like it's 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 if if you just touch it, it's very sensitive. Like you know, sometimes you just uh, move just a little bit, and then focus and stuff. So so sometimes when you spin the uh, I don't know all the technical terms. But when you shift it and then spin the uh, the lens, sometimes like you have to be careful like not to defocus it, you know. So you have to make sure when you shoot it not to touch that focus ring. So 
it just takes a lot of more time to just shoot one angle to just uh, set it up and stuff whereas like my 14 to 24 millimeter I can just shoot a lot faster uh, especially when your time is limited so um, what else uh, it's a very good lens if you really need it for professional use some so uh, most of the time I can capture my 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 shots uh, in in terms of interiors ex exteriors um, with the widest uh, shot like 14 millimeter but there's cases where I really would need this to because the space is very limited uh, out uh, interior and exterior then I would then th that's a great use but to be honest like how many like non professionals would need this like you know I for myself like we shoot a lot of hotels and um, there are only a few occasions where I can use this to be honest and the reason why I don't use it I mean you could use it like to shoot like a wider angle wider uh, uh, field uh, view um, but um, it's time-consuming and um, I it's not convenient uh, but if you had only like to shoot uh, one shot for like a, a client for like a, let's say like two shots for an interior and you really need this then that's great but we're shooting like in a hotel like I don't know hundreds of rooms I mean so it's it's not very effective you know so if, if the client pays a lot and stuff uh, and stuff very specific assignment I think it's good but let's take a look what you can gain um, from this lens Start. Okay, uh, we have the full image here. So I shot, to be honest with you, um, I shot initially um, it was 24 images and I rotated the, uh, the, the lens here so I can uh, get all the details around the circle here, like the, the wide as I can. Um, and then I realized like every image is like what, 40 megapixel, like JPEG. Uh, or TIFF and it, and I tried to render the uh, 24 images and it was impossible it took forever and then it didn't even work it, it crashed or like it timed out and then I tried with uh, 12 images so every 30 degrees and that's that's the result but I couldn't actually run on full resolution uh, shooting 12 images and stitch it because it was like my computer for some reason couldn't handle it and it was just processing forever and then I tried to decrease the um, the resolution to half so from 8,000 mega uh, 8,000 pixel to 4,000 so decreased by half and then I was able to actually render 12 images and that's the result of 12 images uh, so that's the full uh, field of view what you can get from a 15 millimeter low wide from shifting so let me show you my 14 millimeter the reach of my 14 millimeter that, so that's my 14 millimeter what you can get from 14 millimeter and let me see where's the four so that's the that's about the 50 millimeter so I shot this with my 14 24 and that's about and that's the actual uh 50 millimeter let me let me just show you the uh, so that's the 15 millimeter uh the, the actual when you when you don't shift it and so you can shift it to the left right up and then to the uh upper left and right corners and stuff so that's every 30 degrees so so this is how much you can gain from this lens here. Now it's very useful. I mean, so if you can see, let me take this off. So if you if you don't know like um, the what the forty mil in comparison the forty millimeter, you would say like oh that's pretty normal, you know, with a wide angle. But then that's actually very extended already, and you have yeah just standing here like right at the corner, and you have this forty millimeter. It's you, that's how far you know that that's that's all you can get but then uh, with all this shifting but it took a while until you know shooting even if you shoot 30 degrees like each angle 
Uh, well, you have to like I, I do always like two exposure, one like the normal and one like uh, um, uh, in, in brackets basically like two exposures. So you have like a lot a lot of exposures here. So, so yeah, so it's it's pretty wide here as you can see here. All all the information you get is very valuable, especially if uh, you have a building in front of you and uh, you know the whole building here and then if you only have a 15, 14 millimeter it would only reach here and then let's say the top of the building is here so and then you know so you can play around with this and you know how much you gain very useful if for professional use for like uh, certain uh, shots where you really need it but for people who don't really use it for professional use you know they can just work around it tilt um, your camera up you know and then work it out in photoshop or yeah just just find ways to stitch it you know but uh yeah i would say i would use it i would use it probably um to be honest like for my shots maybe five percent out of you know five percent of this this lines if i shoot all these hotels and stuff so maybe yeah maybe per hotel i would say out of like 40 shots that i that we uh, deliver to a hotel maybe like maybe one or two max you know that i'm using this this lens for other than that um yeah that's the reality so uh yeah that's 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 just a real quick um so i don't know all the technicalities about sharpness and stuff i'm just here actually to show you um um shooting wise like if you really need it or not and uh you don't come here for like really specific like the terms of what, what's called i don't know what what's that called i'm just using that that lens to shoot not to explain you like every single de technical details you know all that stuff so yeah okay thanks for watching